Whatever situation you find yourself in in life, whether it's a challenging and difficult time or you're in a good place where things are flowing well, your current experience is exactly where your soul needs you to be right now. Something about who and how you're being right now is equipping you for the next level of who you're here to become, for your highest good and for the highest good of all life. But sometimes it's just not clear what our next step should be or what choices to make and we doubt ourselves. So a little guidance can be helpful to gain a new perspective, greater understanding, to help us get unstuck, or to provide some kind of validation or confirmation that will help us move forward in our evolutionary process. So in this three card poll, I invite you to either choose one card intuitively or listen to the messages from each of the cards to see what guidance they might have for you today to answer the question, How can this situation in my life right now work out for my highest good? Let me know in the comments if any of the messages today resonate with you. Hi, it's Kathy here. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on transformation, abundance, spirituality, and how we can make life easier and more enjoyable by looking at it through the lens of tarot. If you enjoy this video, do please like and subscribe so that you get the latest content. So today, the first card that I'm going to uncover is the Five of Swords. So the general meanings of the Five of Swords are about conquest, ambition, winners and losers, and a kind of conflict that can potentially bring growth. In this card, you can see that there's this young man who has, he's got quite a look of contempt on his face, like he's quite smug and he's quite self-assured. And he's looking at his enemies that he's just managed to conquer, who are slowly walking away in defeat with a kind of sense of, there's a feeling of loss or sadness about this. And there are five swords in the card and he possesses all of them, having taken the swords off his opponents. The sky looks really tumultuous and cloudy, which suggests maybe that all is not well, despite the fact that he's won this particular battle. This card often represents some kind of conquest or conflict or a disagreement. And there may have been some situation where there's been a winner and a loser with the winner having used his cunning and maybe some manipulation in order to get out on top. And it typically involves arguments or a battle of words and ideas because that's what uh, is represented by the suit of swords. So someone may have needed to win, but the question is, at what cost? If you let ambition lead in a negative way without regard to the consequences, it usually results in a situation of loss for everybody because you've annoyed or hurt those that you've argued with. And as a result, you're kind of on the road to isolating yourself. So the Five of Swords message to you, if it resonates with you today, might be that in order for your current situation to work out for your highest good, you may need to let go of certain battles and conflicts. To apply this to your situation, you may need to ask yourself if you've been engaging in any conflicts or battles that are not serving your highest good. Are you pushing too hard to win at all costs? Are you using tactics that are not aligned with your true values? The Five of Swords is a card that encourages you to consider the consequences of your actions and to let go of any behaviours that are not serving you or those around you. And it may be a time to seek a more peaceful and cooperative approach, even if it remains conceding some ground. But ultimately, this will allow you to move forward in a much more positive direction and achieve your highest good in the long run. Card number two. is the Hierophant. So the general meanings about the Hierophant are about tradition, formal education, maybe being a teacher, it's about conformity and morality, it's about belief systems, and it's also about rituals and routines. So the Hierophant represents someone who has accepted the role of authority, and this could be you or it could be someone else in your life, and Understanding this role is somehow going to be the thing that will help your situation work out for the best. So the Hierophant's role is to bring the spiritual down to earth. He has this ability to connect 
with a higher power, with a divine, and to transfer wisdom and sacred knowledge to his acolytes, who you can see in the card here. But he does that in quite a conventional or traditional way as part of maybe a, a power structure with established rules or uh, laws and order. He points to the path of knowledge and education as a, a way to bring practical solutions to worldly problems. And he might represent a teacher or a mentor, just someone who is um, excellent at counselling other people when they're in trouble. Uh, or the card can also represent systems and institutions and structures that also have traditional ways of doing things. Although he can be quite wise, he can also be quite stubborn and rigid in regard to his attitudes, ideas, beliefs and points of view. His message could be that now is a time for you to embrace the more conventional ways of doing things, to conform and to adapt to more expected and established structures and beliefs rather than striking out and following your own innovative ideas. Following good practical advice will tend to quiet the panic and just help you find much more peace of mind. It could be that you're being asked to embrace the role of authority yourself because that's your rightful place. You've earned it because of your wisdom and your experience and knowledge, uh, because that makes you like a person of presence. You may be here to teach. So step into that because people will listen to you and they will experience they will respect your authority, which will carry you forwards. It might mean that your situation can work out the best by finding a teacher or going back to education or some kind of study that you're really passionate about that is going to be something that will grow you on many levels, perhaps connected to what you're here to do, your, your purpose or your sole mission in life. He might also be bringing a warning against being too stubborn, especially in matters to do with spiritual beliefs and morals and ethics. So perhaps you need to let go of being too rigid in your stance. Stay open to new ideas and outside the box thinking beyond your own self-imposed restrictions. And finally, he might also be a reminder to you that you have the direct connection to source or the divine or the universe or whatever you want to call it. And that by owning that and spending time in prayer and meditation, you will gain your own insights that you need to turn your situation around or to improve it. The solution is there. You just need to bring that down to earth. So number three. So the third card is the Six of Swords. And the general meaning of the Six of Swords is about transition. It's about leaving something behind, moving on, and moving out of troubled waters. The image shows a woman and a child in a boat being ferried by a boatman to a land further across the water. Their backs are to us and the woman's head is bowed and it's covered by a cloak. So perhaps she's got some reason to hide her identity and there's a sense that they might be fleeing from something. And because of that, that there's some kind of loss or sadness in that flight she's leaving something behind. So the Six of Swords message, if your present circumstances are quite challenging, suggests that in order for the situation to work out for your highest good, you may need to consider making a journey or transition of your own, one that might be moving from a difficult place to a more peaceful and more harmonious one. This might involve physically moving to a new location, or it might just be about changing your mindset or your beliefs or letting go of negative patterns or behaviours, or something else that you may be attached to. Although the transition might not be easy with perhaps more challenges and more obstacles to overcome along the way, and the letting go could be difficult, the sadness of the loss will ultimately lead to clarity and the calmness of the water in the distance that you can see on the card suggests that it will bring about a new level of understanding and greater acceptance of the changes in your life. Intuition can help in this process, but it's much more important at this particular time to think logically to ensure success. By having a clear objective plan, staying focused on your goal and keeping a positive mindset, 
and not dwelling in the past, you can make progress and eventually reach a much more harmonious and better place. So overall, the Six of Swords encourages you to trust in the journey and to have faith that things will work out for your highest good in the end, even if path forward may not always be clear and easy. So I hope some of today's guidance from the cards was useful for you. Do leave me a comment below if something touched a chord. And thanks so much for watching. If you're wanting to find clarity, get unstuck and back in flow in your life, and you'd like to have a personal one-to-one -one transformational tarot coaching session with me to access your own higher guidance, then do check out the links in the description. And if you like doing your own readings, but your mind goes blank, trying to think of what to ask, having some prompts at hand can really help. So check out my free guide, 111 questions for tarot, oracle cards and journal prompts. Powerful questions can really help make powerful decisions, which then lead to taking action steps that actually change your life and are aligned with your highest good. So that it's a really powerful resource so do check out the link in the description i hope you find it helpful so that's it from me for today and i will see you next time